All right, 2020 uh, Chevy Equinox. Um, I came out and did a uh, diag on this car. Um, car was in a minor accident. Um, everything was fine, um, but the power steering was not working. It, the customer reported that it was working after the accident, then after they drove the car or whatnot, it stopped working. So um, I came to the diag. I had power and grounds to the power steering rack. I could communicate with it. I was getting an error. I'm going to list it in the description what the error is. I can't remember offhand. Um, so I diagged it as a bad rack um, due to the impact. Um, they went ahead and uh, replaced the rack. Uh, by the way, I didn't charge a diag for this, uh, which I should have because <laughs> this is what I saw when I came in the car. Yeah, uh, you normally charge 120. But anyway, um, I've already got SPS loaded. The new rack is installed. So um, I've added this uh, VIN number already. So we're going to um, programming. All right, um, current software, okay. Okay, it's missing the calibration. As you can see, it has the current software loaded, but it's missing uh, one of the newer calibrations. So, we're gonna go to start programming. And by the way, these this is one of the uh, components, supposedly now that you cannot um, install it a used component um, by the way while it's installing this is what it did I mean programming you gotta uh, replace it new Okay, I need to probably, I've got the engine running, which I shouldn't have, I should got it, I should probably have it just in ACC mode, so I'm going to turn it off and do that. Hold the button down, no foot on the brake, and now it's in ACC mode. So, let's see. On the retry three, it should go through. Okay, I'm gonna retry it. Okay, reprogram. We're gonna go to power steering control module. This is uh, SPS2, which is trash, by the way. Can't stand it. Any update crashes the whole system. You gotta completely uninstall and reinstall. Yeah, it's gonna take one of my new slots. Ignition is off. Press next. Wait 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna turn the ignition back on. No foot on the brake, of course. 
Just hold the button down, it's on. And next. Finish. Later. Proceed with same fin. Set up and configuration. That's what I should have actually went up under. Or programming. Rather programming first, but let's see what it does. I think I picked um removal by accident. I wasn't paying I was recording when this wasn't paying attention, so because the old rack is not installed, we got the new one in, so you really need to skip that step. Ignition's on. Complete. Yeah, the whole thing was replaced. Start engine. Turn the steering wheel slowly to the left until it reaches stop position. Okay, I did that. Next, walk slowly to the right until it reaches stop position. There it is. Align front wheel straight center. There it is, pretty close. Turn ignition off, remove key, then press next. Key off. Keyless so there's no key. Open and close driver's door. Okay. It's, I already had the door open. Open and close it again. Next, wait 45 seconds. Ignition on. We're gonna hold it down without pressing the brakes until we get a green light. Ignition is on, radio off. Ignition off. It's off. Open and close door. Wait 45 seconds again.
Turn ignition on. Engine off. Begin. All right. Done. Interesting that on this one they allow you to replace just the actuator and not the complete module. I'm going to go under programming because there is a new calibration for this. So, programming, next. Okay, next, yeah, there's the new calibration that we didn't get the last time because we had the uh, engine started, I believe. We're going to start. Let's see if it goes through this way, it failed the last time as well. Yeah, we got programming going, yeah. I was going to pause it, but it just went right through. All right, we're done. I'm going to clear the DTCs. And then we're going to... Um, Start the car and see uh, what we got. We should have power steering back. I don't know why it takes so long to do it on here with SPS2, clearing the DTCs. All right, about 30 seconds later, cleared them. All right, um, we'll turn the key off and start it. Let's see, oh yeah. no more ears and we got power steering back so that's it this one is a fix uh, like I said I'll put it in the description what the error was in case you got this error and you it will not delete the DTC then it's gonna be an internal rack failure and this happened from a minor impact in an accident which the rack looked fine and everything but something got damaged inside internally See you on the next one. Like and subscribe.